Liam, what do you point to as the main catalyst for that result today? Our performance. Our performance wasn't at the level that I expect from from us in terms of our energy, our intensity, our ability to win duels and headers. And we lost too many in the first 10 minutes. And I think what encapsulated that was what something that we're very good at normally is um, we gave a really poor goal away from a set play and gave them a le leg up in the game. You know, normally we defend those those moments well. Um, we gave Swansea too much momentum in the first 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, we made an uphill battle that we, we couldn't overcome. Have to give them compliment because they were a completely different entity to the previous game. They looked organised and had a game plan. They had a game plan. The game plan, Luke, credit to him what, what he said to the players. He probably looked at the pitch. He probably looked at the play, the, the way we play. And he, he was more pragmatic in the way they played. They played forward. They played long early. They didn't take any risks. They uh, and, they get, and when you play like that and you get an early goal, it gives you confidence to see it out. And I felt they defended well. We didn't attack well enough. We didn't attack with the energy or the speed that I'm used to us attacking with. And in the end, that's why we've come out, um, I think, deserved losers today. As someone who has been an incredibly experienced player, why do you think things like that can occur in terms of losing energy and intensity? Uh, I think sometimes it's your distances. If you keep giving the ball away cheaply, the game, because the pitch feels like an ocean. We lost to honestly. It's it's really football is a really basic game. It doesn't matter sometimes about tactics or philosophy. If you don't do the basics well, which is mark on set plays, if you lose headers and tackles and you lose two and three, you have to start running back seventy yards to your own goal. It happened too many times, especially in the first half. I felt second half we were more compact. I felt second half we had more momentum. We huffed and puffed. We didn't show the quality that we normally show in the final third and that's something we need to address. Well, some positives from that second half. I think Sharp tried to make a difference but Abdush as well seemed to yeah. spark that energy for a little, in parts. He did. Um, really, really positive. A real One of the only positives from today was Abdush. I thought he was outstanding when he came on. He gave us an energy that was lacking in the team. I felt Adama to come back from African Nations Cup duty. I think he did really well when he came on and Billy gave us a, a real focal point up front so look I have a squad now and, and we need to make sure that our performances are strong and the players now know with the squad that I've got that if they're not at the level that they need to be at they've got someone itching to take their place so yeah we've got to pick a strong team for, for Rotherham I'm really delighted the game's on Tuesday for us because we have to focus and bounce back and normally Fletch we have bounced back from these setbacks and that's why we are in the position we are in the league at the moment and I imagine with the quick turnaround of games that was probably why you brought Coyle off early just to preserve him for that match he felt his hamstring at half time uh, okay. I wanted to, and I wanted to make changes at half time then I thought about Coyley's hamstring if you make changes too early and then you have an injury it affects later on in the game so I, I watched him for five minutes and I just felt it, the way he was moving uh, wasn't wasn't at 100% and we've got a free game week and I felt the opportunity to bring Billy on and get another out attacking player on the pitch was a, was a, was the right call I know you can't obviously give a full diagnosis now but will no. that be one way you've got to assess it ahead of Tuesday yeah we have to assess it um, it's, a, it's a really in terms of games we, we go Tuesday, Saturday Tuesday, Saturday so we have to make sure that all the players are at 100% Cyrus Christie thankfully is back from his hamstring issue um, I felt that he's only had one day of training from being out for two months so he didn't make the bench today um, but yeah we'll, we'll assess the group and we'll make sure that we, we put things right on Tuesday